When Chapman Billies leave the street and druthy neighbours, neighbours meet. As market days are wearing late and folk begin to tack the gate while we sit, boozing at the nappy and getting foo and unca happy, we think. Nay on the lang scots miles, the mosses water slaps and styles that lie between us and our hame, where sits your sulky sullen dame, gathering her brows like gathering storm, nursing her wrath to keep it warm. This truth, fand on his tam shanter, as he fri air ye nichted canter, all oh dear, when there a tune surpasses for honest men and bonny lasses. Ah, Tam! Had thou but been so wise, as ten thy ain wife Kate's advice, she told thou weel thou was a skellum, a blethering, blustering, drunken blellum, that fri November till October ye market day thou was ni sober, that till camelder with a miller thou sat as lang as thou had seller, that every neeg that cod a shoon, the smith and thee get roar and foon, that at the Lord's house, even on Sunday, thou drank wi cart and gin till Monday. She prophesied that late or soon thou would be found deep drowned in dun, or catched wi warlocks in the mark o' all of his old haunted kirk. Ah, gentle dames, it gars me greet to think how many counsel sweet, how many lengthened sage advices the husband for the wife despises. But to our tale. Ye market nicht, Tam had get planted on correct, fast by an ingle bleasing finely, with reaming swats that drank divinely, and at his elba, Suter Johnny, his ancient, trusty, druthy crony, Tam lewed him like a very brother. They'd been foo for weeks together. The nicht drave on with sangs and clater, and either ale was growing better. The landlady and Tam grew gracious, with secret favours, sweet and precious. The suitor told his query stories, the landlord's laugh was ready chorus. The storm with it, mech rear and rustle, Tam, didna mind the storm a whistle. Care, mad to see a man so happy, in drowned himself among the nappy. As bees flee him with lids of treasure, the minutes winged their way with pleasure. Kings may be blessed, but Tam was glorious, or are the ills o' life victorious. But pleasures are like poppies spread. You seize the flower, its bloom is shed, or like the snow falls in the river, a moment white then melts forever. Or like the Borealis race, that flit till you can point their place, or like the rainbow's lovely form, evanishing amid the storm. Nay, man can tether time, nor tide, the hour approaches, tam man ride. That hour, on night's black hair the east, in that dreary hour, tam mounts his beastin, and second night he tacks the roden, as near pear sinner was a broaden. The wind, it blew as t'was blown its last, the rattling showers rose in the blast, the speedy gleams the darkness swallowed, loud, deep and lang the thunder bellowed. That night a child might understand, the deal had business on his hand. Will mounted on his grey mare Meg, a better never lifted leg, Tom scalped on through dub and mire, despising wind and rain and fire, whilst hoarding fast his good blue bonnet, whilst crowning our some old Scots on it, whilst glowering round with prudent cares, lest bogles catch him unawares. Kirk Alloway was drawing nigh, where ghosts and hulits nightly cry. By this time, he was crossed the ford where in the snow the chapman smoored, and past the burks and mickles train, where drunken Charlie Bracksnake's bane, and through the winds and by the cairn, where hunters fund a murdered bairn, and near the thorn aboon the well, where Mungo's mother hanged her cell. Before him, Dun pours all his floods, the doubling storm roars through the woods, the lightning flash from pole to pole, near and more near, the thunders roll. When, glimmering 
through the groaning trees. Kerkalloway seemed in a bleeze. The elk aboard the beams were glancing and loud resounded mirth and dancing. Inspiring bold John Barleycorn, what dangers thou canst make a scorn. We tippany, we'd fear no evil. We ask of our, we'll face the devil. The swats, sir in Tammy's noddle, fair play, he cared nae deals a bottle. But Maggie stood, wrecked, sair astonished, till by the heel and hand admonished, she ventured forward in the light. And wow! Tam saw an unca sight. Warlocks and witches in a dance, nae cotillon begint new fi France, but hornpipes, jigs, trespays and reels, put life and metal in their heels. A winnock bunker in the east, there sat old Nick in shape a beast. A towsy tyke, black, grim and large, to gie the music was his charge. He screwed the pipes and gat them skirl, till roof and rafters odded dull. Coffins stood run like open presses, that showed the deed in their last dresses, and by some devilish cantrip slight, each in its cold hand held a light, by which heroic Tam was able to note upon the haley table a murderer's banes and jibby turns, Twa span lang we unchristened bairns. A thief, new cutted frae a rape, wi his last gaspy gap did gape. Five tomahawks we blood red rusted, five scimitars we murder crusted, a garter that a babe had strangled, a knife a father's throat had mangled, whom his ain son o life bereft, the grey hairs. Yet stuck to the heft. Oh, oh, oh mare, we horror burn off, or the teen to name would be unlawful. Three lawyers' tongues turned inside out, we lies seemed like a beggar's clout. Three priests' hearts, rotten black as muckly, stinking vile in every nuke. As Tommy glowered, amazed, and curious, the mirth and fun grew fast and furious. The piper loud and louder blew, the dancers quick and quicker flew. The reel they set, they crossed, they click it, till Elka Carl and Swat and Rick it, and cushed her daddies to the wark, and link it at it in their sack. Now Tam, ah Tam, had they been queens, all plump and strapping in their teens, the sacks and stido creasy flannin, been snow white seventeen hundred linen. Their breeks o' mine, my only pair. Their ains were plush a get blue hair. I wad he gied them off my hurdies, for he blink o' the bonny birdies. But weathered beldams, old and droll, rigwiddy hags would spin a fall, loupin' and flingin' in a crammock. Yuck! So wander didna turn my stomach. But Tam kenned what was what through Brawley. There was ye winsome wench and wally. That night, enlisted on the core, lang after kenned on Carrick shore. For money a beast to dead she shot, and perished money a bonny boat, and shook baith mickle corn and beer, and kept the countryside in fear. Her cutty sark, o paisley harm, that while a lassie she had worn, in longitude, Though sorely scanty, it was her best, and she was vaunted. Ah, little ken thy reverend granny, that sack she coughed for her wee nanny. We twa pan Scots, it was all her riches, whatever grace the dance o' witches. But here my muse her wingman cour, to sing how nanny lap and flang, a supple jad she was and strang, and her time stood like e'en bewitched, and thought his very e'en enriched. Even Satan glowered and fedged foo fain, and hoached and blew we might and main, till first day caper, sin another, time tent his reason o' the gather and roars it, Well done, cutty sack! And in an instant, all was dark. And scarcely had he Maggie rallied, when out the hellish legion sallied, as bees buzz out we angry fight, when plundering herds assail the bike, 
As open pussies mortal foes When pop she starts before their nose As eager runs the market crowd When catch the thief resounds aloud So Maggie runs the witches follow With money and nail rich screech and hollow Atam Atam Thou'll get I firm In hell they'll roast thee like a hen In vain thy kit I wits thy coming Kate soon will be a woeful woman. Now, do thy speedy utmost, Meg, and win the key stain o' the brig. Then there at them the tail may toss a running stream they dare not cross. But ere the key stain she could make that faint a tail she had to shake. For Nanny, far before the rest, hard upon noble Maggie pressed, and flew at Tam with furious settle, but little was she Maggie's metal. A spring looked after Master Hale, but left behind a rain grey tail. The carlin clot her by the rump and left pair Maggie scarce a stump. Now, what this tale o' truth shall read, ilk man and mother's son, ta keed when er to drink your inclined, or cutty sarks run in your mind. Think, you may buy the joys o'er dear, remember Tam O'Shanter's mare.